Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. I thought I had at the top, it was, well, I, I could, maybe I wasn't paying attention, set up that the, um, I guess this is what Howard's notebook or something, I forget, I forget what I had there. But um, anyway, uh, forget that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there is something else I wonder that I've been struggling with, and I, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, and maybe let me know if you. I'll explain it to you in a little bit, and then tell me what you think. I, maybe if I. Well, on the other hand, if I, if I'm not sure that it's a good idea, then I probably just shouldn't do it. But I'll get around to that unless I forget. Um, earlier today. Uh, you know, I got a notice that uh, my bank account was closed. And uh, so I went down as soon as the bank opened and it's half a block away and got it straightened out uh, with the bank. And my bank account wasn't closed. Um, because they... What they, they they do something the bank I don't know what they do, but when there's uh, some confusion or or uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, what they do is do something to the bank account and the bank account is still open it's not shut down and I'm not really sure why they do that that way but that I guess you know they're smarter than I am. Um, so anyway, I went down to the bank because, by the way, I was getting, um, I think three, four, five things before that saying that, uh, uh, such and such a bank, uh, or such and such a, uh, uh that my thing was closed and it, turned out that it wasn't. Not only was it not my bank account closed, the other ones that said that it was closed, it wasn't closed to them either. Uh, so somebody tried to hack into my, you know, bank account. And one way I knew was because the bank, uh, before this, slightly before this, or a day or something before this, sent, you know, I posted on my, to my, to my account or whatever, that do, you, you know, we, we think that these might be, you know, fraudulent. So do you recognize any of these as being, you know, an attempt at fraud or something? And I think it was four, actually. But, um, one of them was an obvious, it was a $1, uh, they tried to withdraw $100. And as you probably all know, that's what these people do that are trying to get into your bank or something like that. They're, they're trying to rip, and I'm, I'm sure they're successful in ripping a lot of people off. But man, what cheap bastards they are, you know, that they, uh, they do a dollar. I mean, if they're ripping people off, now maybe the people they rip off Maybe they don't, they're not all successful at doing it, but <laughs> I think they must be successful. And uh, so, you know, why don't they try to take $5 out or something like that? Um, but anyway, so there was four things that the bank sent me, that bank hardware, I don't, I'm sure nobody's sitting there looking at, you know, so it pops up on their screen or something because and I guess the ones that are <clears throat> somebody doing a dollar, you know, the machine immediately is going to say, this is probably, a, you know, an attempted fraud or something. So on that list of four that they sent me, and this was like a couple of days ago before everything started looking like it was crashing on me, uh, there was a, a withdrawal of, or attempted withdrawal of one dollar. And of course the bank didn't honor it. And then there was... I guess three others, and one of them I didn't know about. 
you know, the other were, the other two, I think it was, the other two were okay. They were, I had just bought donuts and I had just bought um, uh, from a um, eating place, you know, $30 worth of food, you know, walk down and get it and walk back to get it. And um, then there was one that was a small amount and I didn't know anything about it. And so I couldn't say that it was, you know, fraudulent. I didn't remember it, but so, um, so then about the next day or whatever, and I, anyway, I, I, you know, informed them and from their perspective, you know, they, oh, they already, the $1 one, they already told me this is fraudulent. <laughs> so, um, but, um. Yeah, I was telling this for some reason. Oh, anyway. So I went down to, then I was, right after that, okay, I was getting hit by, you know, Google Chrome, or Google, let's see. Well, Chrome is a browser. Google. There was a, an a, attempt at, uh, no, it was just a notice from them that your account is closed. Your bank account is closed. And then there was, you know, as substantial as Google is, there were a couple more things like that that uh, were, um, you know, the same thing. They weren't, uh, they were just saying, you know, that, you know, your bank wouldn't handle that, wouldn't accept it, your bank account's closed or something like that. And so I found out when I went down to uh, Wells Fargo Bank that what is standard practice, I guess for Wells Fargo, I can't speak for all the banks, um, that uh, what they do, and I'm not sure what makes them do this, you know, how they decide who they, uh, but uh, they, um, how did they put it? that my bank, you know, was, I think that my bank was closed, or my account was closed. And uh, so I went down the next day, I think it was, well, this morning, early this morning, it's 10.40 p.m. and now, uh, I went to the bank and uh, I was, see, I was told by, your bank is closed by these places, Google and whoever the other big, big ones would be. And I went in, and uh, uh, the lady there, uh, uh, she said, no, you're, oh, I gave her my IDs, you know. And uh, she said, and she copied, you know, she typed in the information, whatever, my account, and then she looked or whatever. And she said, no, your account is open. And I then I said, well, I got told by, you know, uh, Google and somebody else. I, now I can't remember the all of them. You know, but that they 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 said the account. Now she said no, and she said uh, banks have a procedure, and what they do in these cases is they 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 don't mark it as closed, but they do something when the thing comes when something comes in and a, a, a place is under it. You know, somebody's under attack, and I'm not sure how. Um, I'm not sure how it is that that helps them. Um, but she said, "Well, then she asked me, okay." She said, uh, and I said, well, "Are you sure?" You know, and she said, "Oh yeah," and because she had my my cards there, and she said, "It's it's open," and. Uh, uh, she says the, the banks have a, a way of doing things, and she says what they do is they do such and such, and when, and I don't exactly understand who the people would be that would be in the, the thing, uh, they're told that your account is closed, but you can, st you can log in, you can still log in, and your account isn't closed, and so, um, 
luckily I'm a half a block from the uh, uh, the bank. So I went home. Oh, and she said, uh, I'm so glad I could help you with this. And it's, uh, you know, a lot of work and effort to, you know, to take care of a problem with the bank when your account has been closed. When I left, I thought, I got a feeling I'm going to be coming back, but thank God it's only half a block. So I went back, sat down at the computer, and and logged into the places. And they said, you know, you know, account closed or whatever. So I went back down, and I said, and she said, oh, okay. She says, um, when you logged in, did you have... Uh, a program that logged in for you, and I said, "Yeah, I use I use that all the time." And she said, "Well, what you have to do is type it in yourself. You have to type in, you know, instead of having the machine do it, which I have always had the machine <laughs> doing that for me." And uh, so I. I had a feeling, no, she did it right there then in front of me. She said, can I, uh, you know, use your cell phone? You know, of course, I was sitting there watching her, and, and she looked on it, and I got a bunch of, of, of stuff on there that, luckily, no porn. <laughs> um, but, so she was looking for the Wells Fargo thing. I even forgot the Wells Fargo um, thing was there, you know, because I never used it, actually. Um, but she found it, and she uh, clicked it, and then she entered in the information, not by having my, you know, computer uh, do any of that. Just uh, she just typed in the password or the username and password, and then she showed it to me. And then she wrote it, you know. She wrote it down, and uh, that took care of it. So. Okay, um, there was something else, okay, yeah, the, uh, uh, there's a product that I, I eat, it's cheap, and it tastes, you know, it tastes good, and it's cheap, <laughs> um, did I mention it's cheap? So anyway, it's, um, a product that, um, oh, how can I put this? It's a product that if you don't cook it properly, um, it will burst into flame and uh, smoke will immediately come out of that. Um, and I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, immediately, I can, I've done it two times. It looks like I'm getting too close to explaining it. But anyway, um, this, it's like poisonous. I mean, immediately it hits you, and I, I had to go in and uh, face this situation, and my eyes were run. you know, it was, it, it was bad. And I've been around places where, like I've worked hospital security where, uh, once a year, we would take employees out to the parking lot and set some things on fire and let them use, you know, a fire extinguisher and things like that. We did things like that. But this stuff, uh, so I, well, you might let me know what you think, but uh, don't be dumb like me and cook something in, in a, in, in a, way you shouldn't cook it. So I'll say, I guess I'll listen to you. There's some of you I kind of know, you know, and some of you uh, give some really great, you know, advice. And I try to listen to it because I know that uh, you've actually put some thought into it and you've, you know, been very wise. So um, I'll take care of, you know, take care of that. Um, moving on. Okay, wait a minute. Did I mention this is an important thing? 
Oh, I don't think I mentioned this. I, if I did, well, you're going to hear it again. Uh, this morning, or before this morning, I uh, um, um, let's see. Oh, I was talking. No, it was okay before that. It was a video I made before that, before this morning. You know, but you know late at night because I was up late at night still trying to figure out that everything was okay and uh, because I was really I don't get upset about stuff now some people <laughs> think I do like the raccoon guy or something and I didn't you know, you know I made a, a short video tr and trying to help and I think I did help although they didn't realize it um, and some other things like that. So, um, I shouldn't have talked too long on that, so because I forget what the, um, okay, um, yeah. So, last night or whatever, I mentioned, I was talking about what I was going to do in a little, not in a little bit of detail, uh, that I was going to check and see whether the uh, bank account where my bank account was actually closed because the bank had, and others were sending messages, you know, from Google or, or any of these others saying, you know, that uh, we were informed that your bank is, your account is closed. And I was like, fuck. So I mentioned during that, I said, well, I don't know how to handle that. I said, I'll check tomorrow when the bank opens. But, um, I said, uh, I said, maybe what you could do is, if I, oh, I said a friend. I said, I'll have a friend uh, send $1 uh, to PayPal, you know, uh, give $1 through the PayPal system. You can send any amount of money, you know, doing that, if provided you have the money in your account, you know. And uh, I'm sure there's other, some other probably uh, rules that I haven't thought of and I said I'll have somebody do that for me a friend and so just a while ago I saw a thing that said uh, on the t tagline or the you know I forget what it said you know a donation from well it didn't say a name on there but the name is on there when you go and you know look at it but it didn't appear on the screen here um and so, uh, I um, went to PayPal, and sure enough, you know, I went there, clicked on the thing, and a a guy who I did not know, and I'm not sure how, if he's a regular here, maybe he just stumbled on the site, but uh, now I was gonna, you know, I, was, I mentioned in the thing that I, I'd have a friend of mine uh, donate one dollar using PayPal, and then I would know if the bank the thing was open. So uh, he sent, this guy sent one dollar, and uh, it came through okay, except they took out their 20 cents or whatever they do for, you know. Um, and uh, so, and then now he, this guy left us a, a some text, you know, a comment. Uh, I don't believe in donating. You know, I've been, he, he talked a little bit, you know, I've done such and such and such and such. And I don't believe in donating, you know, money. But he said, I'm going to do that and just going to do it anyway, you know, uh, to help you out. Not by the amount of money, but that the system was working. So he did it and the uh, $1 came through. And, uh, so I went to, so I learned something new about PayPal. I don't think I would need it. Anyway, I so I went there, and uh, sure enough, you know, he had donated a dollar. And so uh, the way he was, you know, like the saying, well, uh, I don't believe in, you know, donating. He, ta he talked a little bit, you know. And... Uh, so I thought, okay, well, you know, 
I'm just going to do three dollars. You know, I'm I don't have much money, but I'm just going to do three dollars. You know, that would be give him two dollars more, and it would kind of maybe make him see that hey, people can help each other, and whatever. And uh, so I learned something new. I'd never even seen that thing on PayPal where you can give back people the money if they sent up some money to you, you know. I mean, I would have just thought that you would go to the regular thing and you can send money to whoever you want to, you know, in, in any amount. But anyway, they have a, sp a space set up there for... And so I went there and I said, okay, I'll give him $3. I won't say anything, you know, I'll just give him $3, you know. And um, so then it popped up. Well, they wouldn't pay any attention, right? You know, it popped up. That wouldn't let me do it, huh? And uh, I think I tried again because I was in a hurry to get, you know, some stuff done. And then I read what it said. Through that thing on PayPal, you can only refund uh, what somebody, you know, uh, gave to you. And I thought it's kind of, I thought it was kind of weird, but maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea or something. But anyway, so I did that. So he gave a dollar and he would have lost, what, uh, 10 cents or whatever that is. And uh, I guess me donating back one dollar, which was all I could do, I guess I probably lost 10 cents on the, on the deal. Maybe not, I don't know. So that's the other, uh, that's the other thing. Um, right now, um, Manicam seems to be working good. And uh, I want to now really try to do this. Well, I've done it good. I mean, but on the other hand, sometimes I haven't. Um, so I, I want to make uh, want to make some changes to the. It's, it's, I've worked this way before, but I want to be more uh, uh, have it more like a little bit of a system, you know. And I've thought of different things in the past, and I've never, I've gone there, because I've told somebody, I'll, I'll go there and I'll tell people how uh, uh, the system, a system works, like, uh, uh, the, the site that is, has so much information on it. And there's others like that. So I was thinking of when I come, well, I think I should continue to have, you know, the be beginning, you know, and I'd like to make the pictures though, some of the pictures. Well, like I'm doing okay, that's fine. But I think what I'd like to do is have uh, several pictures before a certain place maybe where, uh, uh, it's an improved picture or something. You know, you, you you have software that you can make somebody look, even me, I think, make them look better and stuff like that. And then I'd like to have a few, you know, areas where something would pop up that would be short and to the point and you'd see it. And one should be the weather, although, you know, uh, it's probably not a good idea because, you know, I'm in Texas or whatever. Uh, and I thought also too, there's a thing, and I think that might be on Wikipedia, or, or I'm sure it's other places too, you know, what happened in a certain, on this day a year ago, or well, what happened on this that, that uh, was important or life-changing or something like that. I want to do some things like that. So... Uh, I'm a little bit conflicted on 
I am not sure I've ever done three cameras, but I have uh, most of these. I think have been two cameras, and then I, then I'm the person who can switch. Uh, you know, I'm the one who reaches over and makes the decision. If there was somebody else here that I could uh, trust, that would, you know, it'd be really great if I had them like sitting someplace and they'd be like the camera per, you know, they'd be like, you know, switching without me having to, you know, so. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's go here and go to, uh, no, I need another, yeah, I need to set another uh, one up that's just set up so I can uh, go there and then, you know, go to where the, uh, uh, something is set up that I want to, you know, show. It could be, I, it could be the astronomy picture of the day or the astronomy picture of, uh, you know, the week or something like that and, you know, who was born or not. I wouldn't want to do that, but like things like who was born on this day or all that kind of stuff. I'd like to set a few of those things up and maybe that would keep me on schedule too if I'm just figuring, okay, about the 15 minutes after I'll show this or that. So I guess that's um, I guess that's it. About uh, thirty minutes, and oh my God, my oh you can't see it. I'll have to get or can you? Let's see. Yeah, you can. Well, you can't tell. Well, let me show you. Let me yeah. <laughs> let me show you what's on the bed. Documentary. Here's a uh, Samsung laptop. It's a Chrome, and it's a Chrome operating system. It doesn't have a lot of memory. But you know that can be taken care. Of. It, well, it doesn't have a lot of memory. Uh, oh, I see. I'm trying. This stuff is. I'm trying to put this stuff in a uh, organized thing and put it. You know, put it places. Okay, there's a whole bunch more stuff here. Oh. 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 I've got a bunch of notebooks and things. I, I'm great and, or not great, I'm uh, I like to organize things and have everything together. The only problem is I end up with a ton of a ton of notebooks, and <laughs> I need notebooks to 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 know where such and such is and whatever. So, okay, that's thirty minutes. That's all you get. It costs more. If you want more than thirty minutes, it's uh, I'm I'm teasing, of course. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching.